I'd like to thank the Brain Foundation for supporting our research project. So I'm looking at disorders of myelin. Myelin is the electrically insulating material that covers nerves and is very important in transmission of signals from the brain. Any condition where damage to the myelin occurs is referred to as a demyelinating disorder. The most well-known demyelinating disorder, of course, is multiple sclerosis. Um, the subject of my research is another demyelinating condition which is different to multiple sclerosis and is a consequence of antibodies targeting a protein called myelin oligodendrocyte glycoprotein, or MOG. I first started looking at this when I started my PhD about three and a half years ago and I've been supervised by Dr Fabian Brillo and Professor Russell Dale who are also our co-investigators in this grant. So I was most interested in identifying which patients have MOG antibodies early in their disease course so that we could differentiate them from patients with multiple sclerosis and offer them more targeted treatment. So our laboratory currently performs diagnostic antibody testing using patients' blood samples and is the only laboratory in Australasia that does this. So using these antibody positive patients, we've had a few recent publications that identified the clinical and the radiological picture of these patients to help clinicians reach an earlier diagnosis. So with the funding provided by the Brain Foundation, I now want to focus on what to do with these patients after they reach a diagnosis. So specifically, I'm interested in recording patients' response to different types of immune therapy, what the optimal treatment strategies are, and how do you escalate treatment in a patient who's not responding. Additionally, I'd like to look at the long-term outcomes in these patients and use a number of clinical and radiological and laboratory endpoints to try and identify risk factors for a poor prognosis. Understanding how this disease works using lab techniques would help us increase our options for treatment. So with an expected 120 MOG antibody positive patients um, coming up in, by the end of 2017, we hope to have one of the largest international cohorts of patients with adult patients with this condition. And essentially the early diagnosis and identifying which patients are at risk of greater disability and rapidly instituting appropriate targeted and personalised treatment is the best chance to improve the outcomes in these patients who can have lasting disability. And we hope that our research will go some way to realising this goal. We thank the Brain Foundation for supporting our work.